Uhuru Park Gardens in Nairobi was a beehive of activity Sunday as youth flocked the grounds for a memorial concert to honor those who died during the anti-finance bill protests. It was a fusion of patriotic gospel and secular music as musicians took to the podium in song and dance at the event dubbed Shuja's Memorial Concert and was mad or rather was marked to coincide with the Saba Saba Day, a day bathed to advocate for good governance and as our reporter Joseph Wahongo now reports. As early as nine o'clock Sunday morning, Kenyans started streaming into Uhuru Park for a memorial concert. In their thousands, they heeded calls to converge at the park in remembrance of 41 people who died during the anti-finance bill demonstrations in the last two weeks. I'm here for my fallen soldiers. We are Gen Z, we are a movement, we are, we are many. President, we have to be heard. Now this is our, our one way of showing them what we really mean and what we stand for. Security was tight in and around Uhuru Park. Everyone entering the park was thoroughly frisked by a private security team and police officers who were on patrol. When the clock struck 3 p.m., the event dubbed Shuja Memorial Concert kicked off with the national anthem, followed by patriotic songs passed up by dance to honor those who died during the protests. During the event, names of the victims who died were read out several times, and with it the crowd chanted in response, terming them as true patriots who lost their lives in pursuit of what they say is a good cause. Now we need guidance and leadership. At the end of the day, root is not the problem, it's the system. They would also mount crosses bearing the names of those who died as a reminder of the laws. This small tree was temporarily demarcated for participants to write condolence messages and display them on the tree. Artists who graced the event, which ended at 7 p.m., included BN, Sarabi Band, DJ Mo, among others. Thousands of young persons streamed into this historical park with only one message to the government to meet their demands. Reporting for KBC Channel 1 from Uhuru Park, my name is Joseph Wahungu.